I grew up in a family of small p political, politically active people, social justice activists and workers who really, I think, instilled in me a belief that we all should be of use to our communities. And the best way to do that is to join together with others to try to make the world a better place. I'm the first doctor in my family. I was interested in science. My background in my undergraduate degree was in biochemistry. I've always been sort of interested in the mechanics of how things work. And that led me to a, a degree in science. But my sort of political upbringing and my, I guess, my interest in people made it more likely over time, I think, that I was going to pursue something that a little bit more social as a career. I actually entered medical school after I had started a career in healthcare policies. It was my passion for improvement of the healthcare system that drove me to pursue a career in medicine in the first place. I'm also a family doctor, I'm a practicing family doctor, and I think that those of us who work in primary care in Canada really see up close what works well about the system, which is lots of things, and also what's broken and what needs fixing. And when you deal with people in their totality, in the holistic way that primary care and family medicine do, and you get to know them over time, I think you develop a real passion for system improvement that will respond to people's humanity. Like at the end of the day, that is the value that drives all of this, is responsiveness to human need. And so that passion for equity, I mean, it comes from my parents and my family background and my own personal values and beliefs, but it's also been really reinforced and underscored by my patients over the course of my medical career. So in 2006, we found ourselves in a situation in Canadian medicine where it felt as though there was a growing pro-privatization movement among Canadian physicians and actually um, among the general public as well. And from reading the news coverage and sort of listening to the chatter, uh, we, we felt that it was, um, there was a general perception among the Canadian public that doctors had sort of given up on Medicare. Uh, we felt that that actually didn't represent the perspective of Canadian doctors, that in fact, just like the majority of Canadians, the majority of Canadian physicians really continued to believe in uh, the values that underpin Medicare and wanted to see it improved but they're too busy going to work every day to make that perspective heard. And so we felt there needed to be an organization to give voice to what we believed was really the silent majority of Canadian physicians who continue to support the principles of Medicare. And that was the impetus for the founding of Canadian Doctors for Medicare. I love working in an organization like Women's College Hospital and with a group like Doctors for Medicare in organizations where I feel surrounded by others who share my values and my goals and my mission in life and where I can feel accompanied on that journey. So yeah, I've been very lucky that way.